Welcome to Cuckoo Crazy Crochet. Hi, my name is Ronnie and today we're making this. This is called a stainless glass square. You can make this in any color that you want. I've made a blanket with this pattern before and I made it in multiple colors. I am also making squares in this color and in this color and squares which I'm making today where these colors are reversed. So what will you need for this project? Today I'm using turquoise, sea green, and black. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a five millimeter hook, a darning needle, and four stitch markers. I'd like to take a minute and say welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you very much for all my subscribers that stuck around with me until now. And I'm sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video, but I've been really busy. Get your first yarn out and your crochet hook and we'll begin. Round one. Make a magic ring. In this magic ring, you're going to chain three and one double crochet. From here on out, the chain threes are counted as a double crochet. <clears throat> In this magic ring, you will need eight of the two double crochets and chain two. Two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. Let's zoom in just a little. There, now I can see a little bit better. Chain two, two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Chain two. Close up your magic ring. And slip stitch into the beginning into the third chain three. Chain one and fasten off. And pull that through. And pull tight. So far, this is what you should have. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to weave in this tail from the magic ring. And now we need to change to black. Okay, I do a slip knot and I'll leave enough yarn to weave in later. 
in one of the chain two spaces. That's where we're going to begin. We're going to begin with a single crochet. Then you're going to add another single crochet. Chain two and two single crochets all in that same spot. So each chain two space around, we're going to put two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. And the next chain two spot, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochet. This is your repeat for this round. Two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. In each chain two spot all the way around. And when I reach the end, I'll meet back up with you. I've reached the end and now we just need to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Chain one and fasten up. Pull your yarn all the way through and pull it tight. Now get out your third color and this is what we should have so far. You might want to make sure you only have eight of these peaks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Begin with a slip stitch. We're going to start in the chain two space. I start off with a single crochet, chain two. That counts as your first double crochet. You need one more double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochets all in the same spot. Chain one. In the next chain two spot, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Chain one. This is your repeat for this row. In each one of the chain two spots, we're going to put two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. And don't forget your chain one. When I get to the end, I'll be back. Now we need to slip stitch in the top of the chain three. Keeping the same color we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. Chain three. This counts as your first double crochet. Now put six double crochet in the same spot. You should have a total of seven double crochet. Chain one. In the next chain two spot, seven double crochets. Chain 
chain one. This is your repeat for this round. In each of the chain two spots, we're going to put seven double crochet. And then a chain one. When I make it around to the beginning, I'll return. Okay, I've made it around to the beginning. We need a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Chain one and fasten off. This is what you should have so far. Now we need to change to black. In that same spot that we slip stitched, we're going to start with A slip stitch, a chain one, and a single crochet. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Chain two, one single crochet in that very same stitch. One single crochet in the next three stitches. Then we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook twice. Let's see if I can get this close enough. We're going to go down in between the second and the third row and we're going to pull up a loop. Then we're going to finish a triple crochet. Yarn around hook, go through two loops. Yarn around hook, go through two more loops. Yarn around hook and go to, through the last two loops. On your hook. Now we do one single crochet in the next four stitches. Chain two. One single crochet in that same stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. And now it's time to re repeat the triple crochet. So we go down between rows two and three and we pull up a loop, make our triple crochet. This will be your repeat all the way around. One single crochet in the next four stitches. Chain two. One single crochet in that fourth stitch. One single crochet in the next three stitches. And then a triple crochet. Work this all the way around. And when I get to the beginning, I'll meet back up with you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just coming up to the end. I have a triple crochet to do.
now we're going to slip stitch into the <coughs> excuse me into the first single crochet chain one and fasten off the work so far this is what you should have get your teal Round six. We're going to begin in the chain two spot. I'm going to start with a single crochet, chain two, and this will count as my first double crochet. need one more double crochet then chain two in the same spot we're going to put two more double crochet chain two two more double crochet chain two and two more double crochet. All in that same spot. Now chain three and move on to the next chain two spot. You'll be putting two double crochet Chain two, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, chain two, and you can scoot those over if you need to, and two more double crochets, all in the same spot. You will be putting four sets of two double crochets and three different chain twos. Once you get four of them, you need to chain three. So this is your repeat for all the way around. In every chain two spot, we're going to put two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain three. When I get done putting in all of mine and I'm get back to the beginning I'll be back all right now we need to slip stitch into the top of the chain three chain one and fasten off After round six, you have, should have something that looks like this. Time to get your black out. Round seven. We're going to start in the very first chain two
We're going to start off with a single crochet in that same spot. Add two more single crochets. In the next chain two spot, we're going to put two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. In the next chain two spot, three single crochets. In the chain three spot, we're going to put one single crochet, wrap yarn around hook, you're going to go down and pull up a loop under the triple crochet and make a double crochet. One more single crochet. Then in the chain two spot, three single crochets. I'm going to zoom in just a little. In the next chain two spot, two single crochets, chain two two single crochets. In the third chain two spot, three single crochets. In the chain three spot, one single crochet. Wrap a yarn around hook, go down and pull up a loop under I hope you can see where I'm going. Under the triple crochet, pull up a loop and do a double crochet. Then beside your double crochet, you're going to put a single crochet. And that's the repeat for this round. I'll do it one more time. And this very first chain two spot, three single crochets. In the second chain two spot, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. In the third chain two spot, three single crochets. In this chain three spot, one single crochet, one double crochet around the triple crochet and then after that one more single crochet when i get around to the beginning i'll meet back up with you okay just coming around on the end now you need to slip stitch into the first single crochet don't fasten off because we'll be using this color again for the next round. And this is what you should have so far. So now we're going to do chain one, one single crochet in that same spot, and then one single crochet up the petal until you reach the chain two spot. In the chain two spot, we're going to put one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet all in the same spot. Then we're going to put one single crochet 
all the way back down the petal. until we come up to the double crochet. Now, chain eight. Skip this next petal. I want you to put one single crochet right after the double crochet that we did. Now this chain 8, it can be put behind the petal, and then we repeat again. One single crochet up the petal, one, crochet, one single crochet in each stitch up the petal, I'm sorry. Once you hit the chain 2 spot, we're going to put one single crochet, chain 2, and one single crochet all in the same spot. Then you're going to put one single crochet down the petal. Then once you hit the double crochet, you're going to chain eight. Skip the next petal and single crochet in the very next stitch after the double crochet. So this is your repeat all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch up the petal. On top of the petal in the chain two spot, spot you're going to put one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch down the petal, until you come to the double crochet, then you're going to chain eight, You're going to put one single crochet, first you're going to skip the next petal, put one single crochet in the stitch after the double crochet, put your chain 8 behind the petal, and then repeat. When I get around to the beginning, I'll tell you what's next. Okay. I'm coming close to the end. Once you're at the end, you need to slip stitch in the very first single crochet, chain one and fasten on. After I get to this point, then I take each petal and I stretch it just a little bit. Pull it out. And so this is what you should have so far. I'm going to zoom out just a little. So now we're going to switch colors. If you haven't weaved in your tail ends, I suggest you do so now. We've only got three rounds left. I know we skipped four petals, but I'll tell you what to do with those four petals afterwards. Round nine. We're going to slip stitch into this very first 
into the same spot that we did we slip stitched into start right there and chain three this will count as your first double crochet so in each stitch up the petal I want you to put one double crochet When you get to the top of the petal in the chain two spot, you're going to put one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Now we're going to go back down the petal. And I'm going to zoom back in for a little bit. You're going to put one double crochet in each stitch down the petal. When you come to the chain 8 spot, you're going to put, you can either, you can do this one, one of two ways. You can put a double crochet in each of the chain 8, or each chain, which is 8 double crochets, or you can wrap your yarn around the chain and make a double crochet. I think I'm going to try and go through the chain so on the chain eight put in eight double crochets So this is your repeat for this round. One double crochet up the petal. When you get to the chain two spot, you're going to put one double crochet chain two, one double crochet. One double crochet in each stitch down the petal. When you get to the chain eight, you're going to put one double crochet in each chain or eight double crochets along that chain. Whoops. 
continue doing mine and when I get to the beginning, I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I'm coming around here to the end. Once you get to the end, you need a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And this is what you should have so far. You can go ahead and get your stitch markers out because you'll need them on this round. Round 10, chain 3. Counts as your first double crochet. One double crochet in each double crochet. When you get to the corner, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, all in the same corner. Need to put one double crochet in each double crochet. Once you get past this petal, get a stitch marker. We're going to hook the petal to the double crochet, just like that. Next round, we'll do something with these other four petals. So that's all you're going to do all the way around. When I get back here to the beginning, I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I've made it around. Now all that's left to do is slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Chain one and fasten off. So this is what you should have so far. Last round. Round eleven. Get your black out. In the same spot that we slip stitched into, we're going to put and slip stitch into it. Chain one, and then single crochet in the same spot. Might be a little tight. So now in each double crochet all the way around, we're going to place one single crochet.
in each corner you're going to place one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. You need some more yarn, just a minute. Once you get to the petal where your stitch marker is, you're going to take out that stitch marker. You're going to put your hook through the chain two of the petal, top of the petal, and through the double crochet and make one single crochet. And that's all you're going to do all the way around. In each double crochet, you're going to place one single crochet. In each corner, you're going to place one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. And when you come to the top of the chain, the top of the pet, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the top of the petal in the chain two spot, you're going to Place one single crochet through the petal into the double crochet. When I've gotten completely around and woven in my ends, I will meet back up with you. Okay, I'm all done. Now give it a stretch. And this is what you should have. Move that out of the way, make a bunch of noise. This is your stainless glass square pattern. And these are my other squares. I am making a whole bunch of these. I do plan on making a napkin with it. Once I do, I will take pictures of it and make a short video out of it. Um, if I can find the, the color, the rainbow blanket that I made using this pattern, I will link it here. If not, then I'm sorry. I want to thank you so much for sticking around with me until now. I greatly appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Please like and share when possible. And thank you so very much for watching. Have a great night or day. Please stay safe out there. And until next time, bye.